Okay, now um, in our look at surge, we're going to look at uh, an area called rationalizing the denominator. Sounds a bit tricky, um, but it, it's, it looks like this. So if I was presented with that, mathematically, it's not good practice to have a third as the denominator. So we've got to find a way of, of getting rid of it. Now, from our earlier work in thirds, we know, for instance, that if I multiply that by that, when we multiply two um, roots of the same value, effectively it just cancels out the root sign. Um, and if we're not sure about that, let's think about how we would verify that that's correct. For instance, if I said, what's the square root of four times the square root of four? Well, we know the square root of, root of four is two, sorry. And we know that that's two, so the answer is four. So that shows us how it works. So we can have confidence to know that the square root of three times the square root of three is actually three. So we get rid of the, the third as our denominator. But obviously, knowing our use of fractions, whatever we do to the top, uh, sorry, whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So we've now got to multiply that by root three. So actually, we end up um, with the answer of root three over three. And now that means we've actually rationalized that denominator, okay? So let's just have a look at a slightly more uh, complex example. So this time, this time we've got um, two root three multiplied by, uh, sorry, over root eight. Okay, so we know what we're going to do. We're going to multiply that to, to get rid of the root. But whatever we do to that, we've got to do to that. So we multiply that. Okay, now what does that give us? Well, that gives us 2 root 24 over 8. Right, now then, we, we move into new territory here. So thinking about 2... Uh, root 24 over 8. Now remember, when we've got the number inside the root, we're thinking about, is there a square number in there? Well, there is, isn't there? Because what we've actually got is 2, and we could do root 6 times root 4 to get us to 24. And straight away you can see that we've got a square number in there. So we find the square of that, add it uh, to the number outside the root, so actually, uh, that simplifies to 4 root 6 over 8, okay? And then we can do one final step in our simplification work, and we can simply use our understanding of simplification to think, right, okay, 4s into 4 goes 1, 4s into 8 goes 2, and so our answer, simplified, is root 6 over 2. And that's it.